Hi everyone, um, I'm hoping the audio turns out okay. I did a few audio tests. Um, you can hear me, but yeah, it's not 100% where I would like it to be. Um, no, that's not the file I want. Yeah, I'm uh, trying to, I'm fixing to record everything that's going on here and uh, there we go. Okay, so what I'm expecting, uh, Gino, I'm expecting Gino to be the capper on everything. Um, I'm expecting that they're going to give someone completely unexpected, um, you know, like, like they did Corrin last time. Hopefully not someone from the new Fire Emblem, no. <laughs> I mean, if we get them, I really hope that it's not... <sighs> I hope that it's not just two reveals. Ah, my god. Last time was an up and down. I wasn't even recording that. Like, that I wasn't doing reactions. I wouldn't start on that for another few months. And <coughs> if I had been, though, my reaction to Bayonetta would have been, Oh my god, stop overacting for no spa blah 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 to something something Etika, something something clickbait, something something. Because I was jumping all around and I was going, Holy shit, holy shit, holy shit, holy shit! And, yeah, so, it's the kind of reaction that would have gotten me lambasted, but it was my genuine, genuine reaction, and in case you couldn't tell, it is butts o'clock right now. Ugh. High CPU usage detected, you may experience performance issues. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> anyway, um... Like I said, um, I'm expecting Gino. I'm hoping for Terra, and I had a dream last night that we got Chrono. Tell me that wouldn't be amazing. Okay, tell me. Tell me that wouldn't be amazing. I mean, you can tell me that, but you know you would be lying. You know you would be lying. I should have brought my microphone I'm over at my parents' house, because, again, I still don't... <sighs> Still don't have internet at my place. Uh, 10 a.m. Eastern. You know I used to live in Eastern. Good God. Yeah, guys, yes, I know. I have a double chin. Don't need it hanging out out there. Okay, so... Um... I know Crash and uh, Banjo-Kazooie have a lot of hype this year. Um, Banjo-Kazooie is honestly who I thought would be the capper. I thought that would be the ballot winner. <sighs> um, Isaac has a lot of hype this year. Um, which is funny because, you know, he hasn't really been, I hate to use this term, but relevant in a while, but neither has Gino. Although, the, neither has Captain Falcon. When was the last time they made an F-Zero game? They put a bunch of F-Zero tracks into Mario Kart, and they still didn't put Falcon in. I mean, you know, wait here. Uh, uh, no, there we go. Alright, so I'm expecting something right off the bat. I'm expecting a few Echo Fighters sprinkled in. Uh, uh, I'm expecting a new Pokemon. Skull Kid, possibly. Um, though, I'm not really sure why people want him so much. I mean, he was effectively in one game. I mean, I know he was also in Ocarina, but... Eh, I don't know. <laughs> Whereas, you know, Impa is right there. She's been there since literally the first game. I mean, she's not, she doesn't appear in it, but... Uh, hey, maybe the old man at the beginning was her with a fake mustache. <laughs> but, yeah, she's in the, uh... 
She's in the guidebook. She's her old crone self. Mm. Yeah, I have the sniffles, as always, in the early morning. Athena is asleep, and I'm recording outside because so is everybody else. Uh, including Libby, including Heather. Okay, we got a minute to go. Um, gosh, I would have made up a bingo card or just a list of once if I had a little more time, but... How was your Halloween? I want you to tell me in the comments. Mine was okay. I went as a pirate. Athena was my Captain Grey bird. Okay, it's 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock. Oh, wait. Nope, oh, stop it. There. This is what I want to do. Okay. So, um... Uh, Gino, new Pokemon. Uh, possibly one of the old... Uh, <laughs> rare people, uh, like Banjo, was Banjo, yeah, Banjo was rare, um, Crash wasn't, um, I'm trying to adjust this, um, hoping for Impa, hoping for Terra, hoping for Chrono, and hoping for Captain Anne, mm, please, God, my teeth look extra white. By the way, you know, they look crooked. I had braces for years. They're, they're not actually crooked. Just like this one's longer. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Okay, okay, okay. This is definitely a trailer. Oh, maybe not. Showing off everything. <laughs> Ooh, nice. Okay, okay. Make myself a little smaller up here. Sora. Hello, this is Masahiro Sakurai from Sora Why Limited, don't we get and him this subtitles? is the final Nintendo Direct before the launch of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. So Three far, we've confirmed dice 72 man. fighters, 74 if you count Pokemon Trainer as three. Our entire team has worked really hard. I can imagine. With this Nintendo Direct, we'll have revealed every fighter you can find in the game. Okay, let's do this. Dice lamp and green bottles, it's like really distracting. Green models could be Skull Kid. Yes, okay, it's Incineroar. <laughs> Ken! Bring it on. I think yeah, I think people knew we were getting him. Oh, he's... he's not an Echo! Can you have Eliza? Okay, we're gonna get Incineroar, aren't we? My god, this is a brilliant looking trailer! This is amazing! And then the screen still works. That's right. Yeah. Yay! Big fire kitty. <laughs> I was hoping we would so, get hollow chip. Fire with fire, huh? I also knew it wasn't possible. My God, this is a nice looking trailer. Oh, it summons its own turnbuckle! You gotta show it fighting Pikachu Libre. <laughs> Villager, no. There, Pikachu Libre! Oh, the fur! The fur on it is incredible! That was like a reverse genie. Going down there. <laughs> <coughs> mm. 
and the fur effects are fantastic. That was an excellent, excellent trailer. Yeah! <laughs> okay, so already we got new Pokemon. We got. Hailing from the Street Fighter thought series, he was an Echo, but I guess rival he isn't. Ken joins as an Echo Fighter. Oh, he is. In his original game, Ken could be considered Ryu's Echo Fighter. Though perhaps you could say Luigi is the original Echo Fighter. And well, he already plays Ken. differently. Ken has been distinguished from Ryu over the years, but the Ken you'll see this time is based on Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo. Nice, Here's how nice. he'll differ from Ryu. His heavy <laughs> Shoryuken <laughs> turns up the heat. The shape of his Hadouken is different too. And his Tatsumaki Senpukeku strikes opponents multiple times. Hell Wheel. They said hell. Bonus attack. <laughs> We've included lots of Ken's signature moves, Nintendo such as his famous kicks, which with. change based on your command inputs. You figured they He's would. He's a bit faster than Ryu, and we've also incorporated other tweaks from recent titles. Hmm. Just like Ryu, I didn't he has know he was two faster. final smashes. First, the spinning uppercut, Shin Ryuken. We've cool. made it look flashy, as it is in the Versus series. Execute a final smash near an opponent, and you'll instead perform a Shifu Jinraike. Nice. Now for our last new challenger, Incineroar. The fur doesn't look as good there. It mainly uses pro wrestling moves, and as such, its throws are a bit more powerful. Nice. Like a true pro wrestler, when one of its attacks is successful, it'll pose for the audience. Luckily, you can cancel out of these poses at any time, so they won't open you up to additional enemy attacks. Okay, all right. Yeah, this I was wondering if that was going to be a drawback. Lariat. It was Incineroar's signature move in the Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon games. Perhaps it's something of a red cyclone. Its up special is Cross Chop. You'll leap up and come red rocketing back down. I am red This attack can be very effective, but if you mess up, it's easy to self-destruct. So be careful. I don't think that's what Cross Trap does. For its side special, Incineroar makes opponents run the ropes after a dashing grab. When they bounce back your way, press the button at just the right moment. If you're too early, you'll do a back body drop. Wait Poor too Lucas. long and you'll fail. Nail the timing and you'll pull off a powerful lariat. Nice, nice. Its down special is Revenge. When damaged, Incineroar's burning passion comes to the surface, powering oh. up its next attack. That's Incineroar's that idea is of a power attack. And its final smash, Max Malicious Moonsault. It's even faster and fiercer than the Z-move it's based on. Sounds good. We finally revealed all of the fighters you'll find in the game. This is the initial fighter select screen. There aren't very no, many you first, haven't. but it is the same amount as the original Nintendo 64 game. And once you've unlocked them all... No, you haven't. There's going to be someone else. It'll look like this. It may seem hard to guess where each one's located, but they're sorted by number, in the order they join the series. Why are the knees always I at the end I hope you'll enjoy there? battling with all 74 fighters on the roster. There's going to be more. I just know there's going to be at least one more character. Looks good. I think we've seen these before. Ooh. Looks good, looks good. You may recall that we're creating Amiibo in parallel with the game. <laughs> yeah, Ace Climbers. New Here's a look at the new Amiibo figures. All right. We determined the collectible trophies wouldn't be a great fit for this game. Really? Honestly, they were really difficult to develop, too. Yeah, that I can said, imagine. The Super Smash Brothers series is one massive crossover at heart, and we yeah. want to create something more. A way to enjoy characters other than fighters from a variety of video game worlds. Are they having bios? Here's what we came up with. They're called spirits. 
Oh, that's what spirits are. Okay. And I don't mean the spooky kind. Some of them. To put it simply, these spirit characters will lend a helping hand to your fighters, powering them up in battle. In the Super Smash Bros. series, the characters are toys in the real world, but they are fighters in the world of the imagination. Returning to the real world is an ongoing theme. In the imagination, you can battle impossible combinations of characters. Hmm. So is that in our story? In this mysterious world, the unspeakable happens. Many beloved characters lose their physical forms. All of them, except the fighters, are turned into spirits, unable to return to the real world. This is a spirit. Fighters can join forces with spirits to enhance their powers. There's a massive amount of wildly different spirits. Wow. There are several classes of spirits. Standard spirits are dubbed novices. Stronger ones have the title advanced. Especially strong ones are called aces. You know, I'm kind of getting vibes of, of um, their own. the last Legend. battle in Final Fantasy IX where you have to take the spirits in your... Of like half One your party. spirit can be assigned Fine. at a time. Uh -oh. A primary Ryan's spirit's power out. will be added to the fighter who has it equipped. So it's kind of like... In some them. cases, these augmented fighters become extremely powerful. Well, if a primary spirit has bugs. enough available slots, you can assign them support Ryan. spirits. Ryan! dog over there, come on. While primary spirits enhance fighter stats, support spirits lend them additional skills. Where you have skills. to get... The souls of your Once the primary spirit and support summon, spirits are set, like your fighters all yourself. powered up. <laughs> the main way to acquire spirits is to win spirit battles. Interesting. You'll find a variety of spirits lined up on the spirit board. Choose no, one there's you want Kid to Dracula. When you do, you'll face off against the fighter whose abilities and personality are kind of sort of similar to the opposing spirit. <laughs> <laughs> in the case of the Lakatoon like Spiny Spirit, you'll battle against Iggy Koopa in a group of small red Bowsers. Uh -oh. Iggy's riding high in a Koopa mm -hmm. Crown car, of course. Here are some examples of other battles. Spiny you red Bowsers. Interesting. Have to avoid them or fight them? Giant Mega Man, there we go. So you gotta. Oh, Wayne. What's that? <laughs> Taunting at every opportunity. Oh, that's funny. It looks like that resets his sword. Okay, there's Lip. I know everyone wanted her. <laughs> and you can play as her as the new sword fighter. You can unlock the evil sisters with Sonic. That's adorable. <laughs> so victory with drill. You know, something he still hasn't talked about is the percentages. <laughs> Dr. Mario, you in black. The spirit within. The spirit within. You get Even if you accidentally use the shield, the damage will carry over, so you'll have an advantage the next time you encounter that spirit. Interesting. 
Primary spirits have strength based on their type. Attack is strong against grab. Grab is strong against shield. And shield is strong against attack. You know, as it would be. It's important to pick a spirit that has an as advantage. As you do. I haven't said that in a while, have I? When you encounter traps like poison floors and slumber floors, be sure to prep yourself with an appropriate support spirit. Battle Ooh. conditions offer hints before battle, Shelf so make sure to read them and form the right strategy. <laughs> Let's get cooking. With spirits on your side, there are all kinds of things you can Ultimately, do. Ultimately, you can summon Chef Roy RD. When you fight with a primary spirit equipped, it'll level up after battle. Or you can feed it snacks. That was me last night. <laughs> Some spirits even have an enhanced form you can only unlock by leveling them up. You can that also send cool. spirits back to the real world. While you do oh, have good. to say goodbye to that particular spirit, its core will stay. And by combining these cores, you can summon a new spirit. Interesting. You can okay. also train spirits at dojos and the gym. Ah, I get some nervosa. Or send them off in search of treasure, which they'll He's bring the back to you. Little guy. These seem like unlikely teams of characters, but each team Again, could be somebody's guy. dream come true. Training and exploring continues to yield results, even while playing other modes or after turning off the game. So if you send out your spirits, just let them do their thing. Interesting. Certain Sounds spirits like are known as masters. You can beat them to unlock like facilities. Uh, taken a cue from mobile games. Who the hell is that? Spirits can also be used to power up amiibo figure players. Sounds good. You must bid them farewell, but you can repeat the process multiple times. Peach it's with one death great side. big collection of characters from many different series. But just how many There's you Skull there Kid. Are? Whenever you fight against the spirit, the final smash meter is enabled. Some so, spirits even help you fill up your No Skull at a Kid, rate. or is that just his. Well, that looks like a better way to put it. Than yet the spirit system lets you simulate battles between characters from more series than ever before. Interesting. You can enjoy many unbelievable combinations and situations. <clears throat> oh, I forgot about Caitlyn, because she's not in New Leaf. The power of enemy and ally spirit Urban teams is displayed champion here. fighter. Of course, stronger spirit teams make it easier to defeat weaker spirits. Okay, so I noticed that with the more your power skull kid without theirs, the mask, the less you'll be rewarded. It pays to have a fair fight. a different character, or is that just? Skull While kid assembling a team, is press the Y button for a recommendation that has a type advantage against the opposing spirit team. Interesting. The game will recommend support spirits who can help out with certain conditions. Keep that in mind. You can Medley's also really fight good in higher other players. Oh, hey! It's, uh, the kid from um, Ever Oasis. Given the way spirit types interact in battle, Think carefully when building Millie's a team. really good in Hyrule Warriors, well, but oh my god, her voice is so obnoxious. The game lets you battle together with friends via local wireless, or take the fight to the world with online play. Not available in all countries. To connect to Nintendo not? Switch consoles, press the ZR button to pull up hmm. the dashboard and select local wireless. There's no longer a need to separate the online modes into for fun and Finally. for glory. Instead, matchmaking is based on three factors. For glory, frickin'. You know, I love me some Street Fighter, but if for I want to play battles, Street Fighter, I will play. Rules. If I want to play Smash, I'm going to play items, These rules I'm going to play everything. So you can quickly select your favorite playstyle. Before battle, one player's preferred rules will be chosen at random, and all players will fight hmm. using those rules. You can also choose not to set any preferred rules and let the others decide instead. If possible, the matchmaking system will find players with similar preferences and link them up for a battle. That sounds like fun. Well, Global kind of Smash Power then. is being factored into matchmaking, but it's still used as an online leaderboard as well. A high GSP score, such as 100,000, 
means you've got more points than 99,999 other players. Your GSP will change as the total population of players increases or you're overtaken. If you're yearning for a challenge, try increasing hey, the your global smash power so that you'll naturally end up with some more serious opponents. Ooh, By the way, you can set a GSP score for each fighter. Fighters you haven't used yet will be assigned a placeholder GSP based on the highest score you've set with one of the other fighters. Okay. If you repeatedly self-destruct on purpose, you can face a penalty, like being disconnected. So please don't do that. Awesome. <laughs> As with any multiplayer game, a stable connection is very important. Nobody in Africa. For this or reason, South the matchmaking system will prioritize shorter distances <laughs> no between one in players. Canada. So even if you set your preferred rules, please understand that we can't promise you'll always be matched accordingly. Please understand. As such, we'd appreciate it if you could make your connection as stable as possible. We'd all appreciate a, a lot of things. Is recommended. We've prepared a variety of other features for local make it wireless and cool. online battles. Dice lamp, why? Once your global smash power is high enough, you can enter elite battles. Hmm. When you reach this level, feel free to pat yourself on the back. You're good. Okay. Period. I'll do that anyway. After the game releases, we may adjust the game I just don't like that stage. And the team will definitely I mean, pay attention to the results and that's of about these it. battles. Everyone who plays online needs their own smash tag. If you beat a fellow player, you'll receive their smash tag. Huh. But it's not like you'll lose your smash tag even if you lose a battle. Well, you simply yeah. gain more tags as you win. It's like sticker Try to collect collecting. Lots you just... of smash tags. <laughs> Reggie, hi Reggie. You can select short messages and send them before and after battles using the directional buttons. Sounds Freely cool. choose from a wide selection of varied I reset challenge messages. My fate. <laughs> what after you've mean? chosen a fighter, you can enjoy other modes while you wait for the battle to begin. Not every mode will be available while matchmaking runs in the background but you can leave and enter some game modes. That's cool. Spectator mode returns once again, so you can watch other players battle. You know something I miss? Maybe you can pick the up whole, some good like, tips that way. two coins at the trophies. Form a two-player team and play together online with a single Nintendo Switch system. You'll be paired up against two-player teams with the same setup. When you want to play online, you can create a special type of room to fight other players. If you set the rules for one of these battle arenas, you can fight against your friends. Here, there are spots where you can join the battle, wait in line, or even spectate. I like how it that's all depends where depicted. you place your token. When you're in a battle arena, this should come in handy. Okay, so with the Nintendo yeah. Switch online app, you can voice chat with others in battle arenas. It may become an essential tool for some players. Hmm. We are also developing a free service for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, and we're naming it Smash World. Instead of focusing on stats like win-loss records, we're allowing players to post gameplay videos, watch them, and more. Once the service starts, we'll offer regular updates so you can post to your heart's content. Hmm. Is this just gonna turn into Meverse? Next, I'd like to change topics and talk a little about the assist trophies that will support your fighters in battle. Do you know which characters come from which games? <laughs> well, that's from Pong, and they never call it Pong. <gasps> Fatal Frame? Diddy's looking at her like, what? What? Oh, poor Isaac fan. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I like that design. Yeah, I was assuming that was such a little thing. <laughs>
Luigi, you freaking dumbass. You've dealt with those for how many years? Oh, Spring Man. I know people are going to be shocked that he didn't get in. <laughs> Thank you, Isabel. From WarioWare? Flies and hands. Oh, Mario Paint. Okay, you know what I was thinking just for a split second. There's a Tiki cast player at Komori Khan, and she I was like, okay, you're not Terra, are you? She's like, no, I keep hearing that. <laughs> there was a Terra, though. Hi, Guile. That's Virtual Fighter in here, huh? <laughs> yeah, you go for that. Yeah, yeah. The total number of assist trophies them. is now 59. Actually, they outnumber the Pokemon this time. Assist trophies who can be KO'd can also be defeated by the fighter who summoned them just before they're KO'd. Backstab. That way, you won't lose a point to the other player. Now, I'd like to cover a variety of other features in the game. Okay. If you want to review the controls or game modes, press the ZR button to open the dashboard and look in here. There are all kinds of helpful guides to check out. Sounds good. Century Smash may look familiar to veterans. It feels great to keep smashing enemies off the screen, doesn't it? You can play on many different stages. Oh, so this is you the 100. The too. In previous games, you had to unlock every fighter before playing All-Star mode. But now, you can play it right out of the box. That sounds cool. The currently available fighters will appear endlessly. Currently available. So he's you can confirming save DLC. Day of your battles. And now, you can create videos with it. There's also a menu where you can read those quick tips and tricks you see during loading screens. Cool. When viewing them, you can sort by category or fighter. House Belmont. Isn't it Belmont Clan? Complete challenges to earn rewards. This time, each page is sorted by category, and the layout looks more like a comic book. Sounds like Press the button comic. to check out each picture. Enjoy! <laughs> Okay, the we record could do menu that tracks your battle oh, history. Oh. There are five different options. You can view battle data separately for offline and online play. Tilt attack. Trade in smash tags to score some in-game gold. Sounds like fun. Gold can be exchanged for music tracks, spirits, and items for spirits mode. And if you're collecting flat. music, I recommend visiting the shop to find the ones you want, instead of just relying on challenges. You can enter the options menu by pressing the ZR button to open the dashboard. Okay. You can see it was literally... This one literally game supports sunrise. 11 languages. I know this is very important to some of you. Well, yeah. For example, the voices of Pokemon are different in several languages. The fighter names are also specific to each language. These options were highly requested and well worth the effort. Bow to me. <laughs> TV on That's and what it like. separate settings for brightness and sound. They'll change automatically when you dock and undock, so be sure to set both. That sounds good. 
We've implemented a radar that displays the locations of all fighters. You can change its settings, including size. While it's limited to wireless and online play, you can make your teammates semi-transparent so you don't get distracted. That sounds good. Better than just having the If you're fighting against a friend on the same system, you can adjust the strength of your fighters. Sometimes a player is just too good and you want to take measures to ensure it's a fair fight. If that's the case, try using this feature. When custom balance is adjusted, a symbol will be displayed. Of course, this feature is not available during wireless and online battles. Well, yeah. You can customize your knee fighters and change their outfits. In addition to the voice options, there are a variety of outfits to choose from. <sighs> Speaking of me fighters, let me introduce you to some new outfits we added in. Oh my god. No shots with bananas. Not the stretchy arms. Those eyes are freaky. Oh, that's cute. I mean, you're essentially wearing multiple parts of a garbage bag, but a garbage uh, trash tin. Did I mention it's sunrise? Oh, Lavo Man. That's cute. Anyway, there's something I should point out. As I said, we've revealed all of the fighters you can find in the game. But there are even more coming post-launch. We thought there would be, yes. While we've already implemented a huge roster of fighters, this is the Super Smash Bros. series. Which means we're leaving the opportunity open to add in more fighters as paid DLC. I want it to be Since cheaper than last time, though. every fighter from the past games, that means there are no more fighters to include unless we develop new fighters from scratch. And we're not talking about Echo Fighters. We'll be developing and selling sets that will include one fighter, one stage, and multiple music tracks. The price for each set is expected to be $5.99. See, that just strikes me as too much for that. At the same time, we will offer the Fighters Pass. That's five fighters, five stages, and all of their music tracks. Through the end of February 2020, that sounds alright. When creating something like the Fighters Pass, ideally, we should reveal what's included before it becomes I available for purchase. Know. However, please allow us to offer this pass before we're ready to reveal its contents. I hope only those who are confident in its value will purchase it. Again, the price is $24.99 for all five sets. Now that we've finally confirmed the development of this DLC, please know that we'll be working really hard on it. Hmm. I wonder if I'll ever get to take a break. By the way, here's one purchase bonus you'll get with the Fighter's Pass. Is it Gino? It's a Mii Sword Fighter outfit based on Rex from Xenoblade Chronicles 2. We decided which fighters to include when we started planning, so we couldn't add characters from titles like Xenoblade Chronicles 2, which was announced after planning had started. I hope Makes this sense. will help you feel like you're playing as Rex. We're also including some music from the Xenoblade Chronicles series. Give it a listen at Daryl Plane sometime. Other Xenoblade Chronicles characters will also appear as spirits. We've yet to create any of the paid DLC, and we haven't locked down any release dates. But, we'll start working on them as soon as we're finished with the main game. It may take around a year or so to finish releasing all the DLC. But you haven't started yeah, working but on it. on a separate note... We're currently developing something. Something you'll get for free as a limited time offer if you buy the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate game now. It isn't finished yet, but I want to give you a special sneak peek.
All the Mario characters are dizzy. God. It, it, is this a joke? Are they trolling us? Is this a joke? <laughs> oh, that, that is, that is hilarious. Oh my God. I knew there was going to be another character, but... That's right. Piranha Plant will take root in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, and not as an assist trophy, but as an actual fighter. It can spit poison, oh my God. fire off spider balls, oh my God. and perform long-range attacks. This tricky character is full of surprises. Its final smash is you can't hear it. If you get caught in a cage, well, let's just say it won't end. It's like a weasel. Piranha Plant is scheduled for completion after the launch of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. We've gotten a little head start on it, but it probably won't be ready until a couple of months after launch. Please stay tuned. Remember, Piranha Plant is a free, limited time offer. For the physical version of the game, you only need to go through the My Nintendo Gold Point registration process to receive it. I hope you'll consider pre ordering. Okay, We're also creating an amiibo. It has a nice curved form to it. <laughs> Sakurai, just what are you saying? Later today, you'll be able to pre-purchase the game after finishing this Nintendo Direct. I hope you'll go to Nintendo eShop or Nintendo.com before you forget. I have an announcement for everyone watching this in North America. Yes? On our official site, you can find information for a variety of upcoming hands-on events. Participants will have a chance to try out all 74 fighters, so please check out the website to find out where we'll show up next, and more. Mm -hmm. That's it for the last Nintendo Direct for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate before the game launches. But before we go... I should mention that the adventure mode in this game is nothing like what we came up with for the Subspace Emissary. That said, what exactly caused all these characters to lose their bodies and transform into spirits? I'll show you how it all begins and leave the rest to your imagination. Okay then, please look forward to the game's release. Events calendar there. Don't let a single one get away! Well, it's the cliff from... We'll each need to take down about ten. Stow your fear. It's now or never. We'll win this. I know we will. Well, she's not the Zelda... Actress Pro. <laughs> Everyone get down. So say something to them. Shit, man, this is death battle shit right here. <laughs> Snake, that ain't gonna help. What exactly were you guys doing? 
Even Kirby is not invincible. That was before it even hit him. Bye, Joan. Bye, Joan. Now you sell turnips in hell. <laughs> Oh, there's Kirby. Colors weave into a spire of flame. Distant sparks call to a past still unnamed. Bear this torch against the cold of the night. Search your soul and reawaken the undying light. Okay, so they got like a Bayonetta boss going at it. Like the private army. Everyone caught in the struggle, and then the storms of change they fan the flame scattering ashes to the wind. Every soul contains a whisper of light, flaming faintly as it dwindles from sight. We need subtitles, captions, whatever you want to call it. I swear she's a torch. <laughs> I think that's a little beyond my range. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Well, it's 741. Not really interested in this part. <clears throat> Well, I mean, we did see Skull Kid. We didn't see Gino, so it's possible he's DLC. I'm just in love with that trailer from the beginning, and that was really cool. <laughs> uh, people wanted a Street Fighter character that didn't play the same, though. I mean, yeah, you know, Ken isn't exactly the same, but. <clears throat> You know, um, Chun Li had a lot of support. You know, honestly, come on, you know, there's just so much potential in only five more characters. Piranha Plant! What the hell was that? And a time limited character, that, that, that's. That's interesting. That's very. I'm really not sure what to think about that. I mean, on the one hand, it does give you plenty of time, but on the other hand, it doesn't even give you a year. Hmm. Goodness golly. That's going to be a dent in the used market, too. Because, you know, if you buy it after that time, you're going to have a big hole in the roster. <sighs> that story mode looks fascinating. So Kirby went so fast he ripped into another dimension? Yes, I mentioned going candy last night, but it's Halloween, okay? Let me have some fun. I wish I had got into this without uh, knowing any leaks, though. Or spoilers or rumors or anything like that because 
It did ruin Blaze again for me. I know everyone was thinking Decidueye, and then some sort of leak came out, and it was all, hey, it's going to be Incineroar. I just said Blaze Ken earlier, didn't I? I don't know. Well, we got Blaze and Ken. And also, yeah, I. <laughs> um, referring to Incineroar as Red the Cyclone. You gotta say it like Zagief does. Come on. I am Red the Cyclone. I'd say as I'm wearing all green. <laughs> I'm also wearing blue. <laughs> Uh, I'm exhausted and I work today, so I'm really gonna cut it here. I don't really have much to say that I didn't say during it. Um, that freaking amalgamation of wings looks like a bayonetta boss. Uh, Zelda kind of sounds like a little bit like Lisa Ortiz, but I don't know if they. I don't. I don't know if that is her. Just, she had, you know, one line. Oh, Chris Charles Martinet voices, like, six characters. Well, he voices, like, four characters, but still. Three of them are on the roster, and one of them is an assist, so hey. I was kind of surprised to see anything from Ever Oasis, because that game was hyped, and I was hyped for it, and then it was kind of, uh, It's difficult to play. Like, it's very difficult to play. I thought it would be more of like a town builder, but it isn't. God, that just looks gross. I'm going to have to lose weight a whole bunch. Ugh. I know that shot was definitely um, meant to imitate that one shot of the primate army coming at you. Um, Joan sells turnips in hell. <laughs> uh, Joan, don't think I don't ha have a lock on you having a racket going with Reese right now, huh? I did predict that that was not, in fact, the last character, so that's good. Still no sign of Gino. Not as a costume, not as an assist. Can we maybe get Tara? <sighs> please, pretty please. <laughs> you can make it my birthday present. 